okay welcome students now we are going to start with the new concept that is tiles this is the next artificial construction material tiles as generally we know that on flooring we utilize the tiles for the homogeneous surface also it provides a good texture and elegance to the home house that's why we are using the tiles it also raises the water to be percolate through the floors uh, it also avoid the termite attacks or the dampness to the house that's why we, we utilize the tiles the tiles are utilized at various sessions for the different purposes like if we are using the tiles in wc bathroom then it is called as a dado work it avoids the water to be seep into the uh, walls or it also raises a dampness in the walls and that's why we have provided the tiles it also utilizes over the staircase nosings that's why it is said to be a tiles is a good construction material utilized for the different purposes so what are the different characteristics of good tiles first it should be durable strong enough to bear the loads then it should be easy to clean then noiseless have a good appearance the free from the dampness it should have a fire resistant property and low maintenance cost so these all are the properties of tiles then next flooring tiles and the roofing tiles they are made from the better grade brick clays tiles are manufactured using good quality of clay in a building construction tiles are used for roofing flooring paving wall then wall cladding and for the drains so these are the different function of the tiles then they may be rectangular hexagonal in shape nowadays tiles are the uh, in well desired shape and also manufactured by the manufacturer as per the order and designs in classification of tiles first be, uh, based on the patents second based on the purposes and third based on the finishings so based on patents mangalore tile then rani gunj tiles country tiles and alabada tile alabada tiles these are the types of tiles then based on purposes wall tile ceiling uh, ceiling tiles then roofing tiles and the flooring tiles then based on finishing clay tiles matte finish vitrified tiles granite tiles marbonite tiles then spartex tiles so these are the different tiles <coughs> types of tiles which generally utilize then let me discuss with the flooring tiles the flooring tiles are generally used for flooring purposes as well as for the ceiling they are flat tiles having thicknesses of about about 1.5 or 15 to 45 mm they are hard and compact they are resistant to the wear and tear they are colored <coughs> tiles and can be produced by adding the desired coloring reagents uh, during the manufacturing processes they can bear a load also that's why they are utilized as a flooring tiles or the ceiling tiles uh, you uh, we can observe the different shapes and size of tiles are presented on the screen so here it is a limestone floor tile then vitrified tiles then vitrified flooring tiles then marble flooring tiles so these are the different tiles so some of the tiles are utilized for the in a traffic areas or in parking slots as uh, they are functioning a uh, different functions so the hollow clay tiles or the structural hollow clay tile floor tiles or pvc that is a floor uh, polyvinyl chloride floor tiles then cer uh, ceramic unglazed tiles or the glazed tiles these are the different tiles we are using for the floors then next then indian <coughs> Japarna tiles, lavender blue color, then Kashmira. These are the different colors or the shades available in the tiles. 
so we can utilize for the cladding purposes for the wall designing for the textures for floor for the ceilings so different types of tiles are available for the different purposes and they are having a different properties and that's why they are utilized for the different functions then roofing tiles the tiles which are used for the roofing purposes are called as roofing tiles in case of pitch roof covering the top is done by tiles called as a roofing tiles then roofing tiles having the different uh, types first hollow clay tiles they are light and thermally insulated as well as sound insulated their length is about 340 390 440 190 mm the width is also different 350 300 250 200 mm and height is about 80 90 100 and 110 mm so they their water absorption less than 20 percent then corrugated tiles as in uh, old houses uh, generally it is observed in kokan region uh, the most of the houses are covered with the corrugated tiles they are having the corrugations okay and they are generally made up of red soils so they are different in color different in shape they are red in color imparted by the use of the iron oxide they have a denser and hard texture their water absorption is about less than six percent but they are not uh, so much durable they cannot be utilized for the longer period because if they are continuously in contact with the water they absorb the water and get uh, thinner and thinner and they are uh, also weaker as compared to the in early stages that's why we cannot utilize for the longer period then next hard floor finish the natural stone floor finish that is a granite is in the form of igneous rock made up of feldspar, quartz, and mica. This is a luxury flooring tiles and expensive one. It is long lasting as it is hard, uh, hard wearing and uh, having very good wear and tear resistance to the chemical as well as to the load. Also, if highly polished, it is slippery, but on finish provides a more manageable finish comes in limited color black red green blue pink so these are the hard floor finish then marbles as generally granites marbles are utilized uh, many times they are available in many textures shapes and size and that's why they are generally utilized in uh, auspicious hotels then in many bungalows because their uh, cost is very much higher as compared to the other tiles and they are slippery in nature then this is a form of metamorphic rock it is made up of the calcium carbonate it comes in the numerous color white gray green then okra being and it is usually vain it is hard wearing beautiful product expensive to purchase and lay as it is heavy and comes in a slab form marble used for the floor and walls of hotel ba bathrooms very stylish then like granite it is a timeless quantity so granite and marbles having a different property as compared to the vitrified tiles okay. and they also having a very high cost and they are uh, specially utilized in auspicious hotels in wc bathroom for the design purposes in uh, carpet areas okay so due to uh, the heavy cost and uh, their availability also very less in our region that's why we have to be imported from the other states and that's why the cost becomes much more higher and that's why they are generally not utilized in a small uh, cases they are specially utilized in uh, bungalows or the hotels and they are available in numerous colors like white, gray, green, then ochre and beige color. Then slate. Slate it is thinner in uh, shape and size. Slate is foliated metamorphic rock. They are having good textures. Result of shale rocks are undergoing the metamorphosis. 
it is normally gray in color however it can be still occur in other colors also like a purple green and cyan and it can be slippery when it is used in external location subjected to the rains in limestone and the sandstone these are generally utilized in many construction works and nowadays they are available in many colors shapes shades that's why uh, <coughs> Uh, now, uh, now we are using these stones thoroughly in any kind of construction. So these are derived from the sedimentary rock. Limestone is rarely used for the floor as it becomes slippery when it becomes worn. Then it is grey or being in color. Sandstone is used more in outdoor paving than the indoor, but looks great in an area that flows to be outdoor, such as in a conservatory. Its irregular natural pattern is its best feature and it can be ranged from a green timber look to the stripers and speckles. It is beige, brown, reddish in color. So this is all about limestone and sandstone. Now next one that is the mosaic tiles. This is superior type of flooring used in bathrooms and kitchens for the residential building in hospitals and sanatorium and temples. Places where extra cleanliness is essential and they are laid in a different size usually in rectangular square shapes. They are long lasting and they are slippery when polished. So these are used generally for the designated purpose or for uh, looks or the architectural views. So oh, these are mainly utilized in WC bathroom, hospitals, then sanitaries and temples. Then next, what are the different characteristics of wood tile? The tile should be have no cracks or bends. Then it should be a well burned, dense, compacted and regular in size and shapes. Then it should be of uniform color and should be resist wear and tear and atmospheric for the atmospheric actions. Then it should be easy to fix should be non slippery when it is used, utilized in flooring then it should be waterproof chemical proof weather proof sound proof and fire, fire proof then it should be economical and easily available in the market so these are the different characteristics of good tiles then different types of uh, types as we uh, discussed earlier so some of the added types are burnt clay tiles mosaic tile plastic tiles glass tiles ceramic then concrete tiles terrazzo and glaze tiles the size of wall tiles and ceiling tiles and their uses the wall tiles and their sizes are available as 19m by 19mm and 178.5 by 148.5 mm having water absorption of about 19% they are used for the walls partition and ceilings then ceiling tiles, uh, they are manufactured in Chennai, Bangalore and having water absorption about 19%, their size is about 300 by 10 mm. So this is all about the tiles. So next uh, session we will be discussed later on. Thank you.